Hey guys, it's Joe from Joe's Talking, and I don't know if you guys saw my last video, but in my last video, I was comparing the DJI Pocket 3 to the Action 5. We're going on a trip this week, we're going to New York, and I couldn't decide which one I was gonna bring. Well, I thought about it, and I'm bringing the Action 5 Pro. I'm bringing the Action 5 Pro because I have faith that this can do the job. For me, I am a little self-conscious about having my face too close to the camera. I don't want that big fat face, that moon face. So I saw this creator named T Tamara Gabriel. If you guys haven't seen her channel, you gotta check her out right here. I'll put a graphic right here. You guys can check out her channel. She recommended this. This, here's the box. This is the DJI Action Mini Extension Rod. Now, what I love about this is, turns it into a tripod, right? Turns it into the tripod. And then, you know, you connect your camera on there and you are good to go. And you get that little bit of reach. It's not much, but it's just enough. It's just enough to make the difference. And that way you can get an even wider field of view. So this is my kit. I'm gonna take this, got my extra batteries. I've got this, I've got the DJ mic too. Perfect for traveling. So let's find out if the DJI Action 5 is the ultimate traveling camera. Let's go to New York. <laughs> I would like to welcome Joe's Talking to New York. Christopher, what do you love best about New Yorkers and New York in general? The people here are mostly friendly in general. You can walk up to anybody and chat with them yeah. and they'll give you a little bit of this, a little bit of that. And since it's such a fast pace, it'll be one minute, two minutes, and then that's it, on to the next. That's it, you gotta live that New York fast life. Every Friday night, me and my baby go Hey guys, well, if you can't hear any of that, you're deaf because these are the sounds of New York City. <laughs> Now those of you who have seen some of my videos know that I am a huge Casey Neistat fan. And every time I come here, I realize just how much the city of New York plays a factor in all of his videos. This city is a great backdrop for videos, for movies. And I gotta say, there's so many times I'm at home and I'm trying to decide what to watch on Netflix. And I actually just decide to watch a movie because it's set in New York. I just updated the firmware before I left. This has that new 10-bit firmware update. What's the first thing you gotta do when you get to New York? That is, go get a bagel. Uh, when you grab that. Thank you. Yes, I did, yo. Get a, uh, a regular bagel, sliced and toasted with uh, plain cream cheese and lox. Thank you. All right, get out of here. Oh boy. Okay, Russ and Daughters bagels, we got it. Let's hope my wife isn't too mad at me because I made her wait so long. It ain't New York without all the honking, right? We gotta get back, my wife's gonna kill me. I thought it would take five minutes. I think it took like half an hour. Since I am in a hurry, let's do a run test with the Action 5 Pro and let's see how steady this thing is. All right, so I'm running. How steady is this thing? Is it pretty steady? I gotta get this bagel back to the white. Whew. You know, normally I get bagels, lox, and cream cheese, but the lox are packaged. They were slicing this right off the fish. In case you're new to my channel and the first time you're seeing one of my videos, we like to stay here at this place called the Public Hotel here in Soho. There's not a lot of signage either. There's the Public Hotel sign. It's tiny, it's like the size of my hand. Okay, hey guys, so I just got back and my wife is in deep, deep, deep conversation with this lady over here. So um, I'm just gonna have a bite of the bagel Oh my god. The lox are super, super fresh. You can tell they just sliced it off of the damn fish. Russ and Daughters Bagels, if you come to New York, this is the one to go to. I requested an Uber from our hotel in Soho to Central Park, but it was $55, so I decided to use the taxi app, and it ended up being, look at this. $36. So if you do come to New York, sometimes the Uber is way overpriced. Yeah, 
You think Puff Daddy's in there? Bye, Puffy. Oh, Patsy, that's where we had lunch. You know who's not having lunch there right now? Puffy. Puffy not having no lunch. So I've been to Central Park a bunch of times, but I've never actually seen it in the fall when the leaves are turning. Every time we come, it's winter. Walking with you in Central Park The day is sunny with a chance of us And all of the trees are blossoming It's New York in spring the This right here is the Plaza Hotel. Very famous hotel. Let me flip the camera around. This thing in the air Nothing but love between you and me It's New York in spring Right over there is the Apple Store, the famous Fifth Avenue Apple Store. Oh, am I gonna make it through here? Oh. It'll be really super interesting to see who wins in the next few days. And this up here is obviously a Louis Vuitton store because it looks like a giant piece of Louis Vuitton luggage. So you guys know I love cameras, right? Well, I wasn't even planning on this, but I'm walking along and here is a DJI store on Fifth Avenue in New York. I gotta stop in. Got the RS3 Mini, RS4. That's the new DJI Neo. Is it your first time? Yeah, it's the first time in the store. I buy all your stuff all the time. Hi, Joe's talking. I'm Itanu. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Hi, I'm Jazz. Nice to meet y'all. Do you guys use some of the products? Okay, you don't have to say that just for the camera, but you do, right? Yeah, we do. <laughs> what, what are you, what's your favorite product right now? Um, the one I use the most is the RS3, the Ronin RS3. Oh, yeah. Um, my favorite is the Pocket 3. Is it true you guys are coming out with a new fo uh, new camera? Ooh, we <laughs> <laughs> they don't look All right, guys. Thank you. Well, hopefully I didn't get into those two ladies in trouble. <laughs> they sure did get quiet when I asked them if there was a new camera coming out by DJI. I have a feeling DJI is going to throw their hat in the ring with Sony and Canon and all the other people. Excuse me, do you know where I go for the summit? This way? State Building. What a beautiful, beautiful view. Stunning. And if you look around here, look how huge this place is. It's just like John Wick Part 2. It's like, it's all mirrors. See, look at these guys. They're taking a photo here, and then they're looking up, up there. Man, is this place amazing. Whew, this is gonna be a real test for the Action 5 Pro. There is so much sun. I'm really curious to see what this footage is gonna look like. Just a really cool experience overall. I think it's only even gonna get even more interesting here as we go. Oh my gosh. If you look around here, there is no one here without a smile on their face. With all of this movement, I'm guessing this would be a great place to test out the, the, the slow motion. Let's try one. Let's try 4K 120 frames per second here amongst all these balloons. So here we are at the end of the summit exhibit. Got a Manhattan, my wife's got some white wine. And look at this view of the Chrysler building. Hey there, so I am at a place called Little Island. 
here on Pier 55. It is an incredible architectural feat. Oh my gosh, it's so windy over here. We're actually here on the west side of the island of Manhattan. And uh, over there is Jersey. So the reason why we're seeing a bunch of runners is because the New York City Marathon is actually this weekend. It ain't New York without honking. Is this the entrance to the High Line? Do not pass go, do not collect $200. This isn't the entrance to the High Line. Pretty. Okay, so here we are on the High Line. So the High Line is an old, is an old bridge that is also a railroad track, and they've put all this foliage on it, and it's just, it's beautiful. And I'm so glad I'm here when it's not winter, so I can see all of these leaves and everything turning. What the hell are we looking at? What is that? What is that? Is that a, is that a butthole? It's so cool because you've got all this foliage, but at the same time, we are walking through all of these buildings. So you get the best of both worlds. You get almost like Central Park, and at the same time, you get the city view of the buildings. Hey guys, so here we are at the vessel. Can you guys see that thing behind me? That is called the vessel. And unfortunately, a lot of people have actually jumped off of that thing and killed themselves, but it's still a beautiful architectural feat. Hey, good morning guys. Well, I have found myself in a unique situation. My wife has run into a friend. She said, get lost for a couple hours. And I said, gladly. So where does a guy who likes cameras and is in New York go? That would be B&H Photo. of all cameras. I have never been here, so I'm super excited. This place is humongous. Look at all of this gear. I'm looking for some headphones that I can edit with, but something that's super small that I can travel with. Well, if you want something in the ear, I will go with something like Something like this. Yeah, simple plug-in. They have very uh, flat response, so it's good for editing. Yeah? Um, and they have good isolation as well. I guess these are the Shure 112 headphones. I'm gonna get these for, for editing. I'm gonna go up here to the second floor where they have cameras. This place is humongous. Sir, do you know where I'd find ND filters for an uh, Action 5 Pro? Yes, that's gonna be the further down. Oh, perfect. Uh, I'm looking for an ND filter. I'm getting this as well. These are okay, some headphones. Yeah, okay. Guys, look at this conveyor belt system. Look at this. Picking up. Good. How are you? Thank you very much. All right, guys. I went to the B&H store and I got my stuff. That was an awesome experience. I can't believe how big that place was. I've seen it online. I've ordered stuff on there so many times. And to see it in person is really something else. I thought I'd be in and out of there in like 10 minutes, but boy. I was in there for two hours just looking around. If you guys watch my channel, then you probably like cameras. B&H Photo is a must stop if you come to New York. Must. All right. I gotta get back to my wife. What the f am I doing in the middle? I don't know how I wound up in the middle of a Trump rally. What the hell's happening? Oh Jesus Christ. You guys, Donald Trump or Kamala Harris? What the f is happening? So apparently Trump is speaking at Madison Square Garden tonight, and that's where I got stuck in. I got stuck in the middle of Madison Square Garden. Just goes to show you have to kind of watch where you're going, or you might wind up in the middle of a Trump rally. I left my heart in New York. She had brown eyes and she had skin like gold How she loved me so 
Hey guys, you're still here. Thank you for still being here. Well, what did you think of the video? What do you think of New York? What do you think of the Action 5 Pro as a travel camera? I'm really enjoying this as a travel camera. I love the fact that it's point and shoot. I never have to worry about if there's a gimbal having me in frame. I always see that I'm in frame. It's a nice wide angle. Also, that 10-bit color that you get with the firmware update, it is so nice to use. I've been cheating. I've been cutting some of this video at night before I go to bed here in New York. And working with that 10-bit color is super nice. You can pull back the highlights. You can get back the shadows when you're color grading. It's very nice to use. I highly recommend it. I gotta say, this, this camera's fun to use and it's very easy to use. I will say though, when you're shooting with a camera this wide, it's very important to get some close-ups of your environment to make you feel like you're not just using an action camera and that helps quite a bit. If you come to New York, there's a few things I recommend. Definitely do the summit because that bird's eye view of New York was incredible. Also do the High Line, that was kind of fun. And if you're a camera lover, you gotta go to b and Photo. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.